fellas 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 what is going on today fellas so today's video we're doing another team rate video guys and i think this is going to be the last team rate video because we're in august now today's august 2nd um i didn't get to do one yesterday usually i do it on saturday but yesterday i was busy out you know outside making the irl video so if you haven't checked that out make sure you check that out but we're going to be doing um this team rate video today like i said this would be the last one because we're in August, and there's not really much point in me continuing this series. The new NBA is back. Packs kind of destroyed the market, and you can get players that are close to GOAT level for very cheap. So I don't really want to continue on with this series after this one. So we're just going to keep it like this, all right? This is going to be the last one, and then that's going to be it. All right, so let's just get on with it, and let's start off right here with this squad, okay? Ooh, excuse me. I... I just woke up from a nap. I'm a little tired, man. If I look a little rough, that's why. Anyways, he's got Ben Simmons, Vince Carter, Giannis, Wiseman, and Shaq, Luca, Tracy, Kawhi, Anthony Davis, and Brandon Ingram. First off, you need to organize that bench because you don't even have a power forward for your bench. Like, how, how is this going to work out? Because you have, you have one big man off the bench, which is Anthony Davis. Brandon Ingram is not a center. I don't know why he's at the center spot here. I don't know what you're going to do because you can't play him at power forward either. He's a small forward shooting guard. I don't know who's your power forward or center. Like, I don't know if AD is your center or power forward. And if it, I don't, I don't know, that's kind of confusing there. You got to fix that. But um, definitely I would replace Shaq. I'm not even going to like give number ratings in this video because like I said, the same reason as, you know, with the packs, the, the, the cards are crazy now. So I'm just going to tell you who you should be looking to replace. So here, definitely want to replace Shaq, I would say. It's crazy to even say that because there's better big men you can get over Shaq. Um, I would, to be honest with you, I would get Jokic over that man, bro. Or if anything, I would try to lock in this dude, Kareem. And what you can do, I mean, you got 230K MT, 520 VC, 520K VC, Jesus, bro. With that VC, you could definitely get enough MT to lock in Kareem. That I would replace Tracy for sure with uh, the glitch Tracy or just anyone, really. Anyone who's who's newer than him. There's a lot of... That man came out in February, bro. in August. You got to replace him too. And that's really it, bro. After that, your team will be solid. Next up. Okay. You want to replace Danny Manning. You want to replace Michael Jordan, Dante Exum, Nick Young. Bro, you need to get some NBA's back players for sure, okay? You only have 4,000 MT, so you're going to have to sit on a snipe filter if, to get more MT. That's just the simple fact of it. And then after, you have like, I would say snipe till you get like, I don't know, around 50K, 50 to 100K, and then start buying some NBA's back players to replace all of these guys here that you have. Because there's a ton of guys you can get that are better than these guys, all right? So I would probably leave LaMelo and maybe Wiseman, and then I'll start replacing all these other guys. And then eventually replace LaMelo and Wiseman as well. All right, next up, we got Diego. Mm, 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 mm. All right, this is a pretty good squad. I like this. If I were to do anything here, I would replace Cam Reddish. I would definitely replace him with, like, the new NBA's back Kawhi. He's great. Uh... Apart from that, there's not much you can do. Um, Really? I mean, you could get it a little bit better if you had GOAT players. I guess you have GOAT Kareem, you have GOAT Larry, and that's really it. More GOAT players would be the way to make this squad better. To be honest, I'd be running Kobe over Cam Reddish and Rudy Gay, but I know people are going to be disrespecting Kobe like that, so I'm not even going uh, to speak on that any further. Um, Here we go. I know I'm running through these quickly, but there's not much. I mean, these teams are just too good, bro. It's not much for me to say. Here, I would replace Wes Unseld, Mark Gasol, Jordan, Detlef, Kevin McHale, and definitely Eddie Curry with the new Eddie Curry. I would definitely replace him with the new Eddie Curry. I would definitely get Dino Raja as well. Um, and I would get some NBA's back players. There's a ton of guys you can get, man. I mean, the, the, the stuff is cheap. If you want good guys for cheap, you absolutely can do that. I mean, it's not, you know, it's definitely not hard, bro. I would get any one of those new guys. Brandon Ingram's great. I mean, these guys are not dirt, dirt. Some of them are not dirt, dirt cheap, but I mean, they're cheap, bro. All right, let me see. Pack a puncher, too. De definitely get rid of Dennis Johnson, 100%. Uh, 
Jeff Green, Taco, gotta go. Okay. Nate Archibald, get him out of here, bro. Funny man, bro. Funny man, bro. Drop him, please. That man is way too small. Um, everyone else can stay for the time being, but replace those guys, please. All right, please replace those guys. Um, Jason Tatum can even be replaced too. If you want, you can get James Harden, run him at the point, the new one. Uh, for your center, you can get Jokic. And you get Luka as well, the new Luka. Or you can Bam if you want to like a, have him at the power forward. Like, you know, these are guys you can get, man. There's, there's a ton of guys you can get. These guys are all good, man. All right. Next up. All right. All right. Pretty good squeeze. I would replace Blake Edwards. And I wouldn't. Uh, I would definitely replace Tracy. I wouldn't really use Zion because he's 6'6 and he cannot play the shooting guard. That's why I don't like about that Zion, even though he's a good card. He's more of a TTO kind of guy. Um, but other than that, bro, I'm not. I mean, you got a pretty good squad here. I, I, would, I would replace Tracy with Kawhi for sure. For sure, for sure. Easy, bro. No hesitation. And Blake, I would replace him. I'll try to get Ben over Blake, the new Ben from the uh, NBA's back. He's great. All right, this is a little different type of squad, but we're going to run with it. I would replace here Blake, Edwards, Cam, and maybe even Steph, bro. Maybe even Steph. I mean, I run Steph at the end of my bench just because he's my favorite player. But I would probably even replace Steph because he's just small. He's 6'3". You can get guys who are taller. And, and almost just as good, especially now. And I would definitely replace KP because I hate KP. Other than that, I would keep everyone else. That's a pretty good squad, man. All right, Chris. Um, definitely replace Lamar Odom and Joel Embiid and Blake. I feel like the whole bench besides AK-47 could get better. AK-47 could get better too, but I mean, I feel like he's your strongest piece out of this whole bench. And not that any of these are bad. Well, Lamar, he's like the worst one. But not any of these are like terrible by any stretch, bro. But with the cards out now, it's like you can do so much, bro. And Jalen Rose, I would re and Cam Reddish, I would replace him too. Maybe even Pascal. I mean, all these guys can be improved. You got no GOAT players. Try to get some GOAT players. You know, if you feel like grinding for Larry and Steph, you can do that. Actually, I wouldn't even grind for Steph. You can grind for Larry, though. Eh. I mean, we're in all because it's up to you if you want to do either of those. But definitely, I would look to replace these guys, man. Um, just start looking at the NBA's back players and, and, and just go crazy, bro. Cam could be James Harden or Kawhi. Or you can have both of them for the, you know, for the two and the three. You can look, pick up Anthony Davis for Joel Embiid. If you don't want to... Wait, how old is... Let me, let me see. I said how old. How tall. Yeah, Anthony Davis 6'10". Maybe you don't run him at the center. Run him at the uh, power forward, if anything. And then you can run either Eddie Curry or Dino Raj at the center off the bench. Um, Brandon Ingram could replace Lamar, or he could replace KP, whichever one you want. And then you can have uh, even Chris Middleton, bro, over one of those two guys, all right? And Blake could be Ben. I don't know if I said that already, but uh, we're going to skip over this one because nah, I don't like the angle and the quality of it. We're going to go to this one right here. This one's a screenshot. All right, all right, all right. Definitely replace Dennis Rodman with the swiftness. Elvin Hayes and Miles Leonard as well. Zion is 6'6". Six, six. Don't run him at the power forward. Um, I'm, I'm sure you don't use those last three guys, so I'm not even going to touch up on them. You do have two 6'3 point guards, but these are newer guys in the NBA's back set, so I'm not really going to tell you to replace them just yet. Van Arsdale should go. Tom Heaton, I think he should go as well. Um... But definitely these two guys, Dennis Rodman, Elvin Hayes, these guys gotta go like ASAP, bro. I'm talking like right now, bro, type stuff. Like you cannot do that. Like that is unacceptable. All right, so go ahead and um, you can, uh, you know, replace those guys too and your team would definitely be a lot better. So try to get some some budget small forwards and, and uh, some power forwards and then you'll be good to go, bro. All right, man. And just upon seeing this, this man right here, bro, Cam Reddish, drop him with the swiftness, bro. With the swiftness, all right, please. Same thing with Giannis. Uh, same thing with, I would say, Shaq and D-Wade. I'm not a big fan of that dynamic duo because Shaq doesn't have a range extender. And I feel like D-Wade doesn't even get that much better. Bro, get some of the NBA's back cards. You don't have any of them here. 
get some of those man i'm gonna keep telling that to everybody because it's so true i mean you have to bro you have to i mean we're in end game bro literally like this is this this is it this is it bro you have to get some of these cards if you want to make your team really good i mean you don't have to but i mean it's definitely gonna, gonna help i mean these cards are goaded bro these cards are literally goaded so definitely go out and seek some of those cards all right definitely look to replace Jalen, paul mark the whole bench everyone on the bench larry there's no reason to run larry all the way at the 11th spot bro he's way better than cam reddish like run him over cam reddish um bill walton i would run him over d wade until you can get somebody someone better let me see see right th this is a great squad bro this right here is a great squad talk about a man optimizing his his options bro optimizing his options is that, is that the right saying i don't even know bro but just optimizing his potential i guess this is a great squad right here man uh, i would say if you have time evil tracy uh Giannis is great obviously the new Giannis would be better um not much i can tell you bro really just goat players that's really it that's all you need is goat players you got two two out of what is there how many is like over 10 now i don't know the exact number but some of those would make this a little bit better that's really the only way i mean some of these cards are close to goat bro like Kawhi, ben these are close to goat players bro basically they're basically goat cards bro if you really think about it so i mean those guys don't need improvements but maybe some of the other guys could use a little bit of improvement but this is a great squad all right and this is gonna be the last team that we do so you should be looking to replace anthony edwards jalen brown jimmy butler joel Embiid, west unselled i would even say steve smith everyone here besides dino Rajic can be improved upon but that's not to say that this is bad this is not bad at all i'm just saying with with the kind of players that are out now with almost all card like all the new cards being close to goat level like you can make a really really like a much better squad nowadays so if you want to sell those guys you can sell them if you want to keep them and just snipe you can do that too look to replace those guys the first priority should be replacing karolenko west unselled and i would say maybe wiseman i feel like those are your weakest links here or maybe boogie i don't know those are i mean you got good cards don't get me wrong but i would be looking to replace them okay so yeah i'm not gonna stretch this video out any longer man i'm gonna end it off right here if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe guys we're on a road to 40k all right so if you're new make sure to help me out with that man thank you so much and i'm gonna be live or i go live every day 5 p.m eastern all right so if you want to tune into the live streams make sure to have the notification bell set on and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out